It's crazy to think that it's almost been three years ago now since I graduated from the U.S. Army Ranger School. And during that time, I received a lot of questions on how I prepared, what it was like when I was there, and how I recovered. So that's what I'm going to do. And that's what I'm going to do with this series. I'm going to talk about preparation, Ranger School itself, and recovery. No mercy for you. No worries for you. That Game of Thrones. Go sexy on you. I flipped the script. I rolled the dice. Don't fall asleep, cause I'm working nights. Hey, you trying to shut me out, it's getting blatant. Hey, I come and see you now, no hesitation. Yeah, I'm really, really tired of being patient. Hey, if you won't give it to me, I'ma take it. I spent 120 days, like four and a half months in 61 day course, because I recycled Darby, I recycled mountains, all during Best Ranger competition. And the way I did it is I went in as a second lieutenant. So I went from ROTC commissioning to I Bullock in Fort Benning, Georgia, straight to Ranger School. So like my knowledge on tactics and the mental domain knowledge part of Ranger School and the military in general was very limited. My strength going into it, it was my physical abilities. Like I went into Ranger School in the best shape of my life. So like tactics wise, that's why I recycled. Now, when I was going through the course, I remember the huge debate between the instructors was, is this a tactical school or is this a leadership school? Like, everyone always argued, everyone had their opinions. In my opinion, it's a leadership school based around tactics. You need to know tactics to pass the course. There are natural born leaders and there's not natural born leaders. And a lot of times leadership just comes from practice, experience. And I was thinking about it and leadership is confidence, competence and the willingness to take care of others or lead others. That's leadership in a nutshell. This school tests your leadership like in a very specific way. So it's testing your abilities to influence other people that are like in your platoon and your squad to work and make decisions when they're on very limited amount of sleep very limited amount of food, and it's how much influence you have, how much motivational influence or leadership you have to make them work. So this is what I would recommend in order to prepare mentally and tactically for the school. Know the troop leading procedures, know the orders process, know doctrine, know the ranger handbook. After that, it's building a plan and reacting to the plan. And reacting to the plan is going to be 95% of ranger school. You're gonna plan for something that's probably not gonna happen, and it's frago, frago, frago off the hip, React, adjust, and accomplish the mission. Nobody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. Bitch, sit down. Be humble. Sit down. Be humble. So I'd say the most important thing before going to Ranger School, to prep for Ranger School, it's the physical aspects. Like I went into this school in the best shape of my life. I came out of it 120 days later in the worst shape of my life. I lost 30 pounds when I was there. So prepping physically is like how you set yourself up for success because like rap week, which I talk about in the next video, is all the physical requirements before you start like the actual leadership testing and assessment phases. You know, Darby, Mountain, and Florida phases. So the way I prepped physically for this is, you know, looking back, I was thinking, what do I need to be strong in? I need to have a strong back, I need to have strong legs for rucking, I need to have endurance, I need to have stamina. So a lot of my training was like powerlifting focused. I did a lot of squats, I did a lot of overhead presses, I did a lot of deadlifts, and that's still how my training is. It always has been, I'm powerlifting, like bodybuilding focused, and I still did like accessory stuff, but I really focused on strength, I wanted to get my deadlift up, my squat up, and my overhead press up because I knew I was gonna be carrying a lot of weight with those muscles you know, being reinforced. Stamina endurance wise, I was doing a lot of runs. So I was running uh, three or four times a week because I was in eye bullock at this time. So we were running probably 20 miles a week and I wanted to be able to run five miles in 33 minutes or less because the standards is when you get there, you have to be able to run five miles in 40 minutes or less which you're smoked at that point. So being able to run it sub 35 is, is optimal. And then one ruck march a week. So like I was working at least six days a week, six days of strength training, three or four days of running, and then one ruck march, which would vary from like three miles 
to 12 miles. I'm um, just getting my feet ready. So overall, you just want to be strong. You want to be in a very strong cardiovascular shape and you want your feet to be really solid ruck mar marching wise because in ranger school, you're literally rucking every single day. One thing I did not expect, did not expect at all when I was getting ready to leave, is the packing list is huge and it's expensive. I spent over a thousand dollars just on the packing list because there's certain things you need to have, like a certain number of uniforms, um, a very specific packing list before entering the school. When you get to the school, they do like a shakedown, um, an inspection. If you don't have something, you're missing something, you're just done. You know, you don't enter the actual school itself. And it was crazy, like we're doing the layout and uh, the guy next to me is getting all this stuff inspected and one of the ranger instructors is going through the pocket of his pants and pulled out like a candy bar or something. So I bought all my uniforms used because it was cheaper. And um, I didn't even check the pockets of my pants. So I used the pockets of my pants that I was about to get inspected. And there was like a candy wrapper in there, which if it would have been found, I probably would have kicked out. Craziness. So one of the questions I get a lot is like, should you try to put on weight prior to leaving or just maintain your weight? Because you're gonna lose weight regardless. Um, naturally, like bigger guys like myself lose the most weight and then smaller, skinnier guys that are just naturally thinner um, don't lose as much weight. So it really depends on the person. I didn't try to put on any weight prior to leaving and I still lost 30 pounds. Um, with that being said, it's kind of like a bulk season right now. So we're at Chewy's, we got chicken fajitas, all the toppings, everything goes along with it. The last things I really want to touch on in the preparation phase of Ranger School that I feel a lot of people don't really bring up is prepare to be there as long as it takes. You know, like you go into that school with the mindset that you're staying there until you get your tab. And that's why I was there for 120 days. I recycled multiple phases and a six week holdover being best ranger competition. And then the rest of the series, I'll go into each phase. So the next one will be rap phase or rap week. And then uh, Darby mountains in Florida. I'll give you some tips, some of my experiences and some stories there. But with that being said, Preparing to be there as long as possible comes with some preparation in itself. So when I was in school, a lot of people didn't take care of bills, utilities, payments, things in that nature, that if you weren't back within those 61 days of graduating, going straight through, they take care of themselves or have someone to take care of it for you. So I'll see you in the next episode.